Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how you could take a piece of audio and remix it by creating AI stems and remix it in Reaper. So our project set up here was just one audio file. And it sounds like this. Staying out on the weekends, I really need something to do. So obviously, we don't have stems of this, but we can create stems using AI. There's a bunch of different websites that can do this. I just chose this one because I know it's free and it works pretty well. It's called Voice AI. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. And just make sure we choose Stem Splitter. Then we're going to grab the audio file and drag it in here. Here's that file. We'll drag it in like this and drop it. And it uploads that file and we can analyze it in a bit. So it's uploaded. Now we can hit convert audio and it's gonna create stems from this audio file. Choose it. So now it created stems from that file, which we can download right over here. Hit each button and it'll download each one as a separate file. Then we'll go back to Reaper, find those files where we downloaded it on our hard drive, right over here, and we'll just drag them in to Reaper. Select all, drag and drop them like this. And Reaper gives us some options to import them to the same time position on separate tracks. This is the option we want. Hit okay, and it imported all those files. So now we can mute the first one and it should sound the same. Let's hear it. Staying out on the weekends, I really need something to do. Again, before. So it sounds pretty close to the main file with all these stems separated. But now we could hear them individually. Our bass. Our drums. Guitar. Not sure that there's much on these two tracks and the vocal. Staying out on the weekends, I really need something to do. It's a bit garbled, but in the track, it sounds fine. Staying out on the weekends, I really need something to do. So let's delete these two tracks, as we don't need them. Let's put the drums up here. Let's make the bass, because I know it's mono. Right click it, go to item settings, and change the channel mode to mono down mix. So now it really is mono. And we can remix this any way we want. I'm just gonna show you one possible way. Of course, you could remix any way you want. Keeping some things, throwing out some others. Let's start out with the drums and filter them a bit. First, I wanna add a delay to give it a different feel, we use rear delay. Let's set it to 1.5 and hear what that sounds like. Let's give it some more feedback. Now let's filter it a bit with an EQ. I'll use re EQ, make this bigger. Filter out the low end. Then I'm going to change this to be a low pass. Adjust the bandwidth somewhere about here. And hear what this sounds like. And we can create motion for this by selecting the frequency as the last touched parameter. Go to parameter modulation. Add an LFO and adjust it here. Slow it down, adjust the baseline to be right around here. Adjust the strength so it doesn't move as far. Let's hear that. Let's hear that with the vocal. Staying out on the weekends, I really need something to do. I'm just 
That sounds pretty good. Right there, before, it sounded like this. Staying out on the weekends, I really need... This gives it some rhythm. Staying out on the weekends, I really need something to do. But now, because he filtered the drums, let's add some full frequency drums to it. But first, let's put this on the grid by selecting all this and moving it over here. Staying out on the weekends, I really need... So it lines up on the grid. Let's add a kick. Go to View, Media Explorer. And I have some drum samples in here. Of course, you're not going to have the same. I'll go to my kick. Try this one. Right click it. Insert into sample player on a new track. Puts a kick right here. Let's create a MIDI item. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac. Double click it. Let's put in some quarter notes, which sounds like this. Let's loop it to the whole song by dragging it out. Let's do the same thing for the snare. I'll go to my snares, choose this one, right click, Insert into sample player on new track. Let's duplicate this one. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac. Open it up. And let's delete this one and this one, giving us a snare on two and four. Before. Well, before, route the effects, and after. Now let's work on the vocals. I'll start with some EQ, roll off some low end, Staying out on the weekends, I really need something. Boost some mids and top end. Staying out on the weekends, I really need something to do. Set some delay. I'm going to create a slap back. Paying this one left. 180 milliseconds. And another tap or another delay to the right. 210 milliseconds. Which will create a slap back delay. Staying out on the weekends, I really need something to do. I'm just trying to smile when I'll... Now I'm going to add another delay, but this time a longer one. Based on two eighth notes, say some feedback. Let's filter it down a bunch. Sounds like this. Staying out on the weekends, I really need something to do. And finally, a reverb. Reverbate. Staying out on the weekends, I really need something to do. Here in the track. Staying out on the weekends, I really need something to do. Again, before. Staying out on the weekends, I really need something to do. Very different vibe. So this is basically a remix we created just with a stereo file and using some AI stems. And as you can see, you can get as creative as you want, adjusting any drums you add. Wish you could tell me what I should do now. 
Again, we didn't spend much time on this, but I just want you to see how to approach this, how to create a remix using AI stems, using any audio file, using any song you have. So that's pretty much it. That's how to remix anything in Reaper using AI stems. Hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!